Looking for me. Tom, about time too. Oh, I'm sorry, Sal. Ever so sorry. Anyway, there's no hurry. We've got all afternoon. That's not the point. When you say two o'clock, I expect you to mean two o'clock. Almost given you up. Thought you'd chickened out the last minute. Oh, no, come on, you know I wouldn't do that. And there won't be anyone at the centre. They'll all be at the pub. It always stays open until 5.30. Well, we'll leave it till later then. Have a walk round first. Go around the lake first, then. OK. in once, just about here. I couldn't be more than about 13. You should have seen the look on Mum's face when I got home. I thought she was going to clamp me. But she didn't. She just burst out laughing. <laughs> Mind you, I must have looked a mess. The lake was really mucky then. Just like your mum to laugh. Remember the first time I met her? At the Pyramid Club? Yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> well, they were making up a pleasure. Oh, here they come now, Mum. Yes, Sal. <laughs> <laughs> bent down and... Bad Mum, this is Sal. Hello, Hello. Hello. Oh, sorry. 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 Oh, sorry.
Good job too. And, uh, we've got a great football club here, like, you know, and uh, could always looking out for new players. Like we that. had a ladies oh, football yeah. team here last year. Did yeah. you play football? Yeah, have a go. I've got anything. Really? Yeah. Sounds great. I reckon I can play a lot better than a lot of these men here anyway. Yeah? Yeah, of course. I've scored a couple of goals against them last year. They're pretty busy late, can't <laughs> <laughs> What's the betting your mum ropes my mum and dad in for something? She's bound to. I bet you'll have them in the football team. <laughs> that should be a laugh. <laughs> can you imagine my mum playing football? Yeah, I can. Yeah. <laughs> no, not at the moment. No. We've got a youngsters play group here if you're interested, if you want to have a go. Oh, that sounds a good idea. Because a young one could go to play group. He's not old enough to go to school yet. Well, you could bring him along and give him, perhaps give a hand. <laughs> Straight at a goal. Who were they playing? Chelsea. Rubbish. It's all rubbish. <laughs> Chelsea, huh? Oh, everybody knows that. <laughs> it was the first time we got any real support on Saturday, Sal. Smashing. You and the gang really made the right noise. <laughs> I reckon we'd have lost without your support. Cheek <laughs> fell. I'll tell the ref. <laughs> Your dad's a marvel, I reckon, the way he's got football going here. Yeah, he's OK, I suppose. Race you to the bank. Come on. I can't. Come on, when you're no. at the top. <laughs> Looks a bit like a factory from here, doesn't it? I'm glad I left my old school. Well, old was the word for it. Yeah, I'm glad too. You know what I like best? Those wildlife outings with old seal. Hmm, we've had some fun on those. Wild was the word for it. Right, well, here we are. Then this is where I think we'll find some kestrels, OK? We start just over here. Before we start looking for the kestrels, Tony, there's rather an interesting plant that I want you to see. It's a yellow plant, which really has come under to mark. I think you'll see the flower on the left-hand side over here. Great. Will you close the gate, please, when we've all got through? Here it is. It's this yellow flower. Right, can we see what it's growing in? What's it growing? It's growing in this stuff here. No, it's not soil. What's, what would you say this was? I think it's ash. That's right, Graham. It's ash. And this used to be a railway line along here. And this plant here is not a British plant at all. It's originally found in Sicily on the slopes of Mount Etna. You know what Mount Etna is. Who's that? Oh, there they are. Colin, Tony, where have you been? I thought you were watching some flowers with me over here. No, we've been up we've there. Been up there yeah. Over up there? Yeah. Look. What have you got? Kestrel pellets. Some kestrel pellets? How many have you got? Two? Oh, yeah. Oh, aren't they nice? Look, you can see a jawbone there. Can you see that? Yeah. Mm. Just there on the front. Look, can you see that, Sally? Can you see the little teeth inside there? Well, girls, how are you getting on with the bones? Not very well. Not very well. Let's see what you've got here. Let's try this one here. Yeah. School wasn't that bad, really. There was always plenty to do. Remember the tracing? Yes. I think I'll be quite sorry to leave. Well, it's the same difference. They're home. Oh, I see. Yeah. It's turned to a rather very good thing. It's going about. Oh, no. That's what I mean. Oh, no. It's not so funny, though, is it? School business. Do you want that? Who is it? 
I know that one. Oh, the head's come off. <laughs> Hello. Here, the head's come off. Let's fix it. What are you doing? Soon fix that. What are you doing? Sweeping up behind me. Oh, what a good girl. There you are. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. She was really working hard with that broom, wasn't she? Yes, Sal, do you fancy chalk ice? Oh, yes, please. Oh, that's good, because you'll play it. I might have known there'd be a catch in it. Come on. Come on, Mummy. Bye-bye. 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 Come on, Carol. Bye-bye. a church if it wasn't for the cross. Well, it's more like a community centre anyway. Everything goes on there. I took Terry to a dancing class. Dancing. You sit there and see if you'd like to join in later, OK, Terry? Right, now all move your arms and smile, won't you? OK? said he wants you to go and play football, OK? Yeah, great. A man had two sons. He went to the first and said, My boy, go out and work today in the vineyard. I will, sir, the boy replied, but he never went. The father came to the second and said the same. Billy, look, I asked Peter to move those toys. Will you do it for me? But, Dad, I'm watching Star Trek. You always spoil things for me. I won't. I won't do it. It'll just have to wait then, and we'll all be late going on our... But afterwards, he changed his mind and went. And even the services aren't like ordinary services, from what your mum says. But with Terry and Michael... You're not eating sweets after what the dentist told you, are you? Let me see your tongue. Oh, what a disgusting colour. Put it away. I took her to the health centre last week and she had her first filly. Oh, can I help? Um, we had an appointment with a dentist this morning. Can I have the name, dear? Um, Glock. Miss Glock. Yes, Terry Glock, isn't it? Yes. Would you like to take a seat over there and I'll let them know you're here. Thank you. Oh, look at that picture. Oh, yes. Terry Glock. Terry. It's our turn now. What do you want to do when the dentist is finished? Uh, coke. You want a can of coke? <laughs> That's not good for your teeth, is it? Bad, was it? I bet 
they could take the monkeys a thing or two. <laughs> the blood will rush to your head. <laughs> Ill. Oh, that's all right. Are you better now? Yes, thank you. Oh, well, any time you want some help, just call us and we'll be glad to give you a hand. That's very nice. Lovely morning, Mrs. Yes. Hartley. Yes, yes, it is. Oh, have you been to the new I understand you've got a job on the estate, Tom. Yeah, I'm furniture making. They've got some good machines down there. Some of them make the ones we use at school look a bit like toys. I explain they do. Still, school taught me a lot about wood and how to handle it. Oh, but well, you've got the basic knowledge of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, and the pay's Tom, very good. Tom, better be going now. Yeah. Sorry, nice to have seen you. Look after yourself. Bye-bye. Aren't they a nice couple? Yes, they are. Tom! Somebody might be looking. Well, there's no-one around. You're talking to no-one being around. Have you been over the other side of the bank yet, to the new bit? Well, I've been to the roundabout and looked over the building going on. Right old mess, I thought it looked. Well, they reckon the new tenants will be in pretty soon. No. Yeah, I went over there only the other Sunday. We must be concerned that everything is ready for people who will be moving from probably very grotty housing into the promised land. Everything that is from school, social services, health services, whether there will be adequate information for them, will the walkways be swept, will there be good enough lighting? They're going to be very isolated in that part of Thamesmead. Thank you, Patrick. Chairman, what's most concerning me is a question of public transport, particularly for the mums with the young children and the, and the senior citizens. I'm really very, very concerned about the lack of buses. Um, there's only the 198 service. We must be uh, pressing London Transport to provide better service, and we must press the GLC to provide better access to the elevated road. Thank you, Peter. Don? Mr Chair, what I'm concerned with mainly over there is what groups of people are going to move in. Is it going to be families with young children? Is it going to be senior citizens? Or is it going to be disabled people? Because what we've got to remember is that the nearest post office is at least half a mile away. People to be walking through mud and slush right through the winter, all this sort of stuff, to me, it's just not on. They must have these facilities there. Thank you, Don. It seems then generally agreed that we should ask <coughs> our General Secretary to write to the GLC and seek further clarification on these points. Is that generally agreed? Yes. Thank you. I'd like to turn now to the next item on the agenda, item five, which is rents. Melvin? Yes, thank you, Chairman. As we all know, rents in Thamesmead remain far too high. Even the GLC's own expert, Della Nevitt, has said that rents here should be cut by approximately one-third. For this reason, our campaign against unfair rents must continue. It's a bit mucky now, but it'll be great when the lawns are finished. Your dad was talking about that the other night when we were watching telly at your place, remember? Here, you two get to bed. Mum and Dad will be back in a minute. There they are as well. Pass me shoes. Really nice, wouldn't it? Hello, Hello Tom. Hello, Sally. How's kids been, all right? Well, doing... Fine. Um, what you been watching? Football. Shall I make tea? Yeah, that'd be nice. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, we could have really done with that win tonight, couldn't we? The mm. price I had to pay for chopped for tea, it was disgusting. The price is just going up and up all the time, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, I know. Well, I think the main trouble is that we haven't got any competition. That's very true. We need more supermarkets, more butchers, more of everything, well, don't I we? what I do if we need anything big? I said I'd get the bus into Woolwich. Well, that's the job. Now I go to Woolwich because I get a ride in the car. Hello, and it again. But lots of people, it's a terrible drag oh, on the bus, it isn't is, it? It is a drag, it's definitely a drag. Oh, yeah. Hello, Jim. Hello. Hello, love. How's the meeting going? 
Very lively. They were worried about the tenants on the, the new section more than anything else, but there was a, a lot of talk going on about the rents, rent rebates, yeah. but they said there's nothing we can do about it because it's in the hands of the GLC. Anything being said about the town show, Dad? Yeah. You're having the same stall as last year, the champagne wheel? Some behaviour's got no right. Here you are, sir. You're lucky. Well done. Let's have another one. Here we go. One more left. Anybody like the last one? Guinea pig roulette. It's a popular local youth club. Well done. That's a lot. Guinea pig starts rolling. Now, what's your number? You'll see the guinea pig run. This one's having babies, so you all right? He'll feed quick. Come on, boy. This one feeds quick. Ladies and gentlemen, the first main attraction of the town show will be the Black Knight's parachute drop. They are going to drop the other side of the lake. Do you think the fair will be as good as it was last year? No. Old Seal might ask me to do an article on it. He was quite pleased with the one I did about the youth club. Perhaps I'll end up as, as a journalist. <laughs> Don't laugh. Well, it's a bit late, Sally, but um, I think we can just about squeeze it in. Oh, thank you. Bye. Right, bye-bye. Thank you. Hey, hang on, Sally, for me. Oh, never mind. It's not fine, eh? Centre is the right place to go. Of course it is, Sal. I keep telling you, I've seen lots of people go there. Hmm. Yeah, come on, Sal. Best foot forward. like this, you see. I've got this good job down on the estate, haven't I? Yes, and I'll be able to get a job down there too. So why shouldn't we? Why shouldn't you what? Well, put our names down for a flat in Thamesmead. That's what. Sit down. 